Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Spigen FinFit P. This is a brand new case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now I've been using the flip cover case with the pen holder, and I've been waiting for something else. And this is something else. Is it going to be the right thing? I don't know. Um, I pre-ordered it probably about three and a half weeks ago. Uh, I think it's around 45 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be better than this, but you know, it gives up some things in the pursuit of giving a different form factor. Uh, so let's get out of the box. Let's take a look. Made in South Korea, for those of you that are wondering. And you know, it seems okay, but it doesn't look like it's flawless. It looks like it has its own flaws. And this just arrived. Um, I'm sure many of you have ordered it as well. I haven't really seen too much on YouTube about it. So we've got adhesive strips out of the box in here. Um, and I'm going to actually obviously have to go through installing these. Um, really slim and a pen holder right there on the frame, which is part of the reason that I thought it would be nice. Now, there is no protection for the spine. That is one thing that concerns me. And of course, the screen will be exposed, but that alleviates an issue right now with this baby where I'm not able to actually see uh, my notifications, my display. So let's go ahead and pop this thing out. Let me do this. Uh, I got to bring it a little closer to myself. I don't want to damage the device. And hopefully, you know, this case is more dynamic, but I don't know that it's going to be. I mean, for the price and the fact that I'm already invested in uh, this Sammy case, I'm not sure that it's going to be better. So there's the Samsung case out of the way. And again, I should be looking at instructions, but I'm just going to pop it on. So I believe that is how you get the front on. It looks like it, hopefully. And the pen design here being there is a little bit odd. I will say that. I'm going to open this up to attach it. It might be easier. I should be looking at instructions. I could say that a million times, and yet here I am. I've already popped it on. And I'll do a follow-up on this for those of you that are, are wondering. Of course, I'm not going to not follow up. And hopefully this doesn't somehow damage the device. That's really my main concern. Uh, but the adhesive is, I think, a good idea. You know, the, the Samsung case I've been using has none. And there we go. I already don't know how I feel about it. Um, it's pretty awkward, I, I have to say. Fairly awkward, what I'm looking at here. It might make it easier. It does make it easier to open and close. So that is, it's always been one of my little pet peeves with the Z Fold line is that it can become a little bit difficult sometimes to open, a little slippery. And because the pen will now be located there, that is a change in design that might be a welcome change. I don't know. I believe it just slides in. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to take in and out, but I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, use this for a little bit. I'm going to look at the instructions, which I haven't. You know that already from watching the video. One thing I do already like is, as I've said, it is easier to open and close. I don't like that this is totally exposed, and I still wish somebody would be smart enough to make a kickstand because part of the beauty of having the fold is the kickstand capability, propping it up, and being able to just set it, I won't say and forget it, but watch content um, right on the display while it's standing up. No one has made a case that can do that yet. Um, I'm hoping someone does because we should have the pen incorporated as well as a kickstand. But this, who knows, um, might grow on me. It is a little bit awkward that this sticks out here. Holding it is something that definitely is going to be a learning curve. The edges seem to be a little bit, not sharp, but rough, I would say. You're not going to get hurt by these. Let's not be ridiculous, but um, we'll see how it works out. But, you know, the cutouts seem to be where they need to be. And um, it's just a little strange having the pen there, but um, possibly more functional. We'll see. But again, the Spigen uh, Thin Fit P. Um, any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Uh, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.